What's going on everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. A lot of you guys are interested in this project. This is the 1.8 scale double E crawler. Uh, it doesn't come like this. It's got a two-speed and it's got a normal brushed motor, but I have Frankenstein it into this, well, I don't know what you could call it, but it's still a crawler uh, to a degree. It's still a work in progress, but uh, I couldn't wait to show you how far I've actually come. So if you guys are new and it's your first video, uh, first time seeing this, this is a nitro engine, single cylinder, uh, single overhead cam. Now you can see it is pretty sweet. It's got a fan bed at the front. It's uh, the cams up there, the, or the lobes, and uh, it's got an exhaust on the other side. It runs on 25% or I think roughly 20% nitro. And you can also buy it in a gasoline version, which is exactly the same, just a different timing uh, system for the ignition. Now, links are in the description. Want to go check it out? And also, if you're new, please subscribe and hit that like um, if you like the video, and also the notification so you can notify of all the latest videos. Because there are going to be a few in this. It, it's it's a kind of a, a work in progress. It does take time because everything is pretty much scratching to do a lot of Frankenstein cutting and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're new, here we have this is a Revo 3.3 two-speed with reverse transmission, and um, as you can see. I've done a fair bit of time, or a fair bit of work, well, from the last video actually, kind of made everything look semi-neat. Here we have the throttle and the brake, as you can see there, and also here we have, this is the ignition system, I'll show you that in a little bit, but the reverse and the, uh, so we go there, the reverse for the reverse and forward is right there on that little servo and that's connected or used on this little knob here on my Noble NB4 because it's a four channel receiver I can do that there so there you go there flicking back and forth now the one thing I'm waiting on is the brake but the brake does work it does work there it pulls it now why I'm waiting for it the, there's a special yoke that the, the uh, Revo uses it's got these two pins that kind of lodge its way into the uh, brake disc and that's how it forms the, uh, the connection there. Currently it's just free, free spinning, but it does work. So I'm just waiting for that. But I wanted to definitely show you where I'm up to now. The steering server and all that is working. So we'll mount it up front. These will be mounted here. Check out my other videos if you want to go check out a uh, more in-depth look where we're going. But uh, basically, basically, everything is nicely located here. It's probably going to be, well, it's probably going to be its position for the life of this project. Receivers here. Throttle, uh, throttle servo, brake servo, and also my reverse and forward gear selector. selector. Now this servo right here, now this is the way I've done it so far. That's the actual starting mechanism to start the uh, starter motor and also give some power to the glow plug. So once it obviously gets started and it's ignited, uh, this shuts off, it stays uh, uh, red, well, ignited like a diesel and that's what causes the uh, the bang so but once that turns off there's no more power going to this or the starter motor now that is connected via here there we go pretty cool eh? so I can start that again how cool does it sound Once that's turned off, that uh, struck this motor for the starter motor is not spinning anymore. And that's in the normal idle position. But everything's running how it should, and uh, it does fit, the body does fit on here, obviously without some of the interior, but that'll be a later project. Now, also, I'll just give a bit of a run. Pretty sweet, eh? Turn it off, you just put your finger over the uh, carburetor. Now I need to figure out an uh, air intake system and uh, figure out it's not shifting um, into second, I don't think. I've checked the uh, slipper clutch, unless I need to tighten it down there more, but that's pretty much tight as I can and be. I've tried to put a little uh, Allen key in there and screw it down, or sc screw it uh, anti clockwise, clockwise, I think it is, to shift earlier, but maybe there's just a little bit more fine tweaking with that. Now you notice as well, 
I used the uh, Revo drive shaft as well, and it's just got enough room here uh, where it actually connects to the to the other other telescopic end. So it's it's just got enough. We'll see how long that works. But the main problem I'm finding is the angle, that angle there for connecting the front diff to the um, centre differential. It's too great. I tried that before, the yokes didn't like it, they were binding up, so I'm going to find a different uh, solution for that. So currently it's only two-wheel drive, but I definitely want to get it to four-wheel drive. I might try a different uh, kind of setup, but it's weird because the, the diameter from the housing here, sorry, the, the shaft from the, what's it called, the output shaft to the, to the shaft on the axle is a little bit different, so it's hard to kind of, you can't just use one like there unless I retrofit it like I did for the back. But everything works, and I'm pretty happy with it. So if I'm, I'll show you how to start it back up again. To the gas. But really happy with that, eh? Really happy with that. Now I'll, I'll put on the ground, and let's see how it actually works, and show you reverse and, uh, and forward. So initial test, let's just try it on the concrete here. I haven't, honestly, I've only drove it around the, the uh, garage here, moved the car out, so uh, let's, let's try it out. The motor's still pretty cold, but uh, everything works. <laughs> we can do it guys, we can put our mind to it, we can do anything if we want. Yeah, don't have, don't have brakes, but uh, let's try that uh, reverse. There we go. Back to forward. There we go guys, we done it. <laughs> yeah, it's not changing in the second. <laughs> Here we go, guys. No brakes. <laughs> Absolute first test. For this guy. So the gearing, obviously people are going to say it's not very fast, no, it's because it's geared as a crawler. <laughs> yes! I'm really happy with that, eh? Let's try reverse again. I want to make sure we absolutely uh, I don't want to go forward and uh, when it's going backwards. I'm really happy with that, eh? Have enough, enough power to do a wheel uh, burnout. Bit of clutch slippage there. That's got a wreck it straight away, eh? So that's why I wanted to use the Revo gearbox because of that situation right there. I'm pretty, uh, pretty pumped about this, guys. This is all trial and error. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of things to do, but also it's come a long way from the uh, what I wanted to do and my plans. How about I, uh, I put the body on and let's see how it looks. There we go, guys. One screw at the front, one screw at the back, just to um, hold it on, see if it fits. I've got to do a custom exhaust later on, but um, I'm not at that level that Johnny Q90 is, but happy days, it does fit. 
Oh, no problem. Let's just uh, slam that into reverse. Wrong way. Damn straight. Here we go, boys. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Go, go. <laughs> what is looking a little bit uh, cattywampus, but work in progress. Big work in progress. A lot of uh, people have followed my channel because of this, and I appreciate that so much. To be honest, this motor's only had one tank in it too, so. <laughs> Check out this guys, check out this. I'm pretty happy. Let me know what you guys think, everything still fits in there. Happy days. So I've still got to do an uh, air cleaner, air filter, sorry, but sweet. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm really, really, really pleased with how it's worked out so far. So, I'm pretty happy. Not like I've uh, said enough in this video, but uh, let me know what you guys think. i still got to put a little catch game for that oil, and uh, funny, probably leaks. It leaks like a real one, it leaks oil. So that little, what I'm talking about, there's a little uh, waste. You can see the oil there, there's a little pipe. That just drains out the excess oil from the, because it's nitro fuel, it's lubricating the uh, or the moving parts so any excess oil it just spits out there you get like a little catch can but uh, there's many things to do many things to do maybe I can cut some of the interior to fit in there but uh, overall I am pretty happy guys still got to do figure out the front drive shaft two speed shifting and uh, you know just little bits like that but it wasn't I guess meant to be perfect it was a uh, well, something that I thought I'd, I'd really like to try and it, you know, actually works and I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? What would you change? Or are you happy with how it's been, uh, you know, it's come along so far? Because in my eyes, I think it is. We thought out, we thought of something that's cool. We've got the motor. We thought, you know what, that'll probably fit into this car and we've made it work. We have made it work, guys, and I'm so pumped and... Uh, I'm really happy that all you guys, a lot of new subscribers have come to this, watched my videos and thought, this, this looks pretty cool. I'm happy. I'd like to actually stick around and see if this guy can do it. Or maybe you have this motor, you have this car or vice versa or plan to get it and uh, you want to know if it can work. Proof of, the, proof of the pudding, it definitely can, guys. Now, it's nowhere near perfect. Flame me if you want. Uh, but I don't care because we did it. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy how I can make this start off the controller. You know what I mean? How cool is that? And now it's sounding like a little four stroke. That's awesome. So happy. <laughs> Clears the uh, hood. Might be some heat issues here, but I might put some reflective tape here in case it gets too hot, but that's not hot at all. This head does obviously get hot. I might open it up later on and see if it needs greasing. But, yeah. If you like the video, guys, like always, give it a good old thumbs up. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you get notified of all the cool stuff. Because, you know, I do have another one here just sitting here. I want to put that in something else as well. Maybe a custom frame. Maybe something different that doesn't require two-speed transmission. But hopefully I also got the V4 or the V400 from Toyan coming later on. That's work in progress as well. So that's, if you don't know what that is, that's the V4. So four-cylinder but in a V configuration. So that'll be pretty sweet. I might make a my own custom hot rod or something like that, like a T-bucket or old uh, Model T Ford or something like that. What do you guys think in, uh, let, let me know down below in the comments if uh, what you'd like to see. If you'd be interested in seeing the v, V4 on my channel as well. But uh, quick update, guys. 
just don't want to leave you guys hanging because there's a lot, a lot of interest in this. So appreciate it. Any questions, please leave them down below. Also, thanks to Dennis for uh, giving me the inspiration as well and also the uh, two-speed idea. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Happy days.